Okay, so we are going to be getting into this story. Uh, I first want to actually kind of do a shameless plug of one of my other previous videos. Okay, I'm actually going to leave the link down below and I'm also going to um, put up what it looks like. So this video was one I did. Uh, I was saying it's, it's titled LeBron James School. No eighth grader has passed math test. So, um, his school, LeBron James has an I Promise school and the kids, it, it's for people who have like a broken home, you know, underprivileged children essentially is what it is. And those, ki those kids aren't learning anything. Okay. Let's just say that. So it's already not a good look anyways. All right. But we're going to get into this article that happened right outside of said in Akron, Ohio, LeBron James, I promise school. Okay. This has different pieces and I'm going to link them there. And I want y'all to let me know what you all think about it when we get to it. And you will know when we get to it, let's get into it. It says black teens who killed white youth outside LeBron James, I promise school found not guilty of involuntary manslaughter okay first off i'm going to go ahead and put up the mug shots of the three individuals and then the white youth that they ended up that end up dying okay let's just say that and then you'll see why i'm saying that okay now let's get into it it says two teens who killed a boy during a fight outside lebron james i promise school in akron ohio ended up being acquitted of involuntary manslaughter and instead were convicted of felony and misdemeanor assault deshaun and taylor stafford were acquitted of manslaughter and a death of 17 year old ethan lyman with deshaun being convicted of felony aggravated assault as well as a misdemeanor count of assault and his brother tyler only convicted on a single misdemeanor count of assault the manslaughter charges were dropped when a jury could not agree on a verdict causing summit county common pleas judge tammy o'brien to declare a mistrial deshaun could still face up to two and one half years in prison for a felony charge the arrest came on the heels of a fight outside the school on june 2nd 2022 the deceased teen ethan liming and his friends had been driving around shooting a water gun at people okay so let's read that part again the deceased teen ethan liming and his friends had been driving around shooting a water gun at people but when they came across the staffords a fight ensued during the fight, Deshaun Stafford punched Ly Liming, causing him to fall to the pavement and hit his head. Liming died from injuries suffered when his head hit the concrete. So what is being said here is white boy and his home and his friends, okay, with some other black friends he was with. White boy and his friends, they're in a car, they're shooting guns or whatever, water guns. Now, the Stafford people, they're obviously not going to the school, okay? This is like a middle school, you know, uh, with elementary in there, you know? So, they're not going to the school. For some reason, they're just hovering around it. And they shoot the water gun at them. They go. There's an altercation. Seems like he punches him, hits the concrete. He ends up dying, okay? Let's continue. The U.S. Marshal Service announced it had arrested Deshaun Stafford Jr., 20 years old, Tyler Stafford, 19 years old, and Donovan Jones, 21, in Akron after homicide warrants were issued for the three. Both Staffords were arrested at the residence in the 500 block of North Howard Street, while Jones was arrested in the home on the 200 block of Crosby Street. The three suspects are currently being held on charges of murder and felonious assault. Okay, so now I have a little bit more that I want to get into and an affidavit that i seen okay now let's get into it so it's his brother connected to ethan liming's um death at lebron's high, i promise school found not guilty the three men confronted liming after shooting at them with the water bean pellets so the other one said a regular water gun i'm thinking okay like one of those little plastic ones you get from the dollar tree you get like 10 in a pack this is water bead pellets you know, so I'm assuming that's a little harsher. 
Police testimony share in the case stated that Liming, accompanied by several friends, was high on weed and quote unquote pranking bystanders with the pellet gun. Deshaun Stafford was the first of three suspected men to engage with Liming until his brother Tyler and cousin Donovan Jones joined in. So we are now going to get into this affidavit that I saw, okay? Um, which is, it's interesting. Uh, when you look at the two different articles, one saying it's a regular water gun, another one saying it was a water gun, but it, it had these little bee pellets, which I'm assuming are much harsher than just straight up squirting a water gun, okay? But I'm gonna put this affidavit up here and it says the undersigned swears that, you know, defend it on about, and there's some other stuff in here that's redacted. This is June 2nd, 2022. And it says Stafford did knowingly, Stafford is one of the black dudes that ended up killing him. Stafford did knowingly cause or attempt to cause serious physical harm to Ethan. The result of the felonious assault resulted in the death of Ethan. Stafford was in an altercation with Liming, Ethan. Stafford punch assaulted Liming. Stafford then beat Liming until he was unconscious and then beat him more as he was unconscious on the ground by stomping and kicking him multiple times on the head, resulting in his death on scene. When blah blah attempted to come to Liming's aid by taking him to the hospital, the suspect, one of the black boys, took Liming's car and drove it to the other end of the lot. So, what this is saying to me, so you are not guilty on involuntary manslaughter because I punched him one time, man, you know, he, you could say it's assault by throwing water pellets at you or whatever. I, I punched him one time, man, he hit the concrete. Okay. But this is saying, if this is true, okay, this is just, if it's true, okay, um, for everything, because just because you may say, oh yeah, it's the truth. Okay. Um, this seems a little more violent than just a simple bow i clocked him oh man he he hit the concrete and he's dead because this says says stafford punched assaulted him okay and it says stafford then beat him until he was unconscious so he's already out so it wasn't just a bow now you're out that's how they made it seem it was more like a bow 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 okay you're down and then he beat him more as he was unconscious on the ground. So he's already knocked out on the ground. And then now you're probably stomping him, kicking him, boom, boom, boom. By stomping and kicking him multiple times on the head. Okay. So he was already down from the first blow, I'm assuming. Maybe second blow. And then you didn't just leave. You kept going. Resulting in his death on scene. So then his homeboy he's like okay i need to i need to we gotta take him to the hospital we gotta take him to the hospital because it was liming with i think it was like two other people uh two or three other people and they're like man we gotta get him to the hospital so one of the staffers takes the car says i'm assuming they kept it running then he drives it all the way to the other end of the lot away from liming who is either possibly dead or very much close to it and then now the car's all the way on the other end of the lot. And now these people can't just go and drive the body. Now they got to go over there and do all this extra stuff. And now there's more to the story, you know? So, um, it's very interesting that this is what's going on. My question is why are y'all hanging around a middle school, elementary school? That's what I find to be odd one, but, um, I get, you know, these pranks, I'm not a huge fan of pranks. You know, I think leave people alone. That's how I feel with, with all that. Um, but this, okay, they shot a water pellet at you. Man, what, what you doing? Man, nah, don't do that mess anymore. Da -ra -da -ra. You know, maybe a little shoving here and there. And then you go about your day. But you killed someone because they squirted some water at you? I don't know, man. Um, I think this is very odd story that they didn't i mean they said one of the brothers could get two and a half years but 
still it's just kind of like over this um i you know i just i find it to be odd you know um that they that that's all because this didn't seem like involuntary like okay we got in a little scuffle boom oh man you hit, hit the concrete seemed more malicious than that but let me know what you all think down in the comments down below hey if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and also leave a comment down below i would also appreciate it if you could go on ebay.com simply type in latrice limited click on shops and then you can support me right over there i have a wide variety of items over there i have many of my own personal latrice limited items which has candles bath bombs soaps essential oil blends lingerie robes i have a whole bunch of stuff i even have comic books on there men's ties action figures a whole bunch of other stuff as well definitely support me on there. Like I said, do not forget to like and subscribe and thank you.